I think it goes like something like that. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> and then... Oh! <laughs> Jake, do you ever feel like we may have missed our calling in life? I think so. Good morning, everybody. Shirtless Jake here. We're ready to get this day started. We're out here now. We're going to go check the hog trap, see what's going on. It's really a long drive to get out here, but it's all right because one of these days it's going to be worth it. It's definitely going to be worth it. Uh, what is that? take a look here well all the corn's gone again I'm not understanding how all the corn keeps on going missing but yet there's never anything in the trap but I did have to take off the game camera yesterday because I ran out of battery but I got some more so we'll get that all hooked up that trail keeps on every day it gets beat down a little bit more and more but, well, try again tomorrow. Hadn't seen any squirrels or anything up here. Well, there was nothing in the hog trap, but now we're going to put out some more grass seed. But we got to do some other things first. First, we got to get all the littles up here. Come on, littles! Come on, littles! Oh, yeah, even Carl's running this morning. Everybody will run for goldfish, let me tell you. Come on, little. We're going all the way to the front. Come on. Geese, I don't care where you go. You can stay over there if you want. Come on, Carl. I haven't seen Copper this morning. Oh. There he is. Come on, Copper. I'm going to go ahead and put Carl's little treat up here where he likes them. I will give you some, Pablo, and everybody else. You're on your own. Go, everybody. Go, everybody. All right. Now I'm going to go, Carl. I'm just going to assume you're saying thank you, but I'm going to go shut the gate so y'all can't get back in. Here comes Trudy. Come on, little Trudy. Come on, Trudy. All right, so what the plan is here is first we're going to kind of water down this entire pasture here where, well, where all the dirt is. And then we're going to come back, we're going to rake, and then we're going to put all that rye, rye grass seed all throughout here. And then after that, we're going to go over there, we're going to get some of this loose hay. Uh, we got some more square bells that we're going to bust up to and put over the top of it. That way, hopefully, we can stop all these babies from eating all the seeds as soon as we put it down and kind of keep them from walking directly on the grass right after we put it down too. So I think it's going to turn out a lot better and in a couple days we should have, this should be green. Tell Your feet. Ready. Tell me when you're ready. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. What are you laughing about? Nothing. My shirt? No, I was, I was looking at your Crocs. Crocs. Stop looking at my, stop <laughs> judging me, Jake. The problem right now is these animals have created a dust bowl. They've created the dust bowl and it's growing. This desert that they've created is growing. And so what's gonna happen in a couple of weeks, we're gonna get our first frost. All this grass is gonna brown up and dry up. Yeah. And then it's gonna just take over this entire pasture. We're trying to combat that. So what we have to do is we have to put <laughs> that rye grass seed down. But if we just put the seed down by itself, the ducks, the turkeys, the chickens, they pick it right back up off the ground. So we're going to go ahead and put the rye grass seed down and then cover it with a soft layer of hay. Uh, we're going to wet that hay down so the animals won't eat on the hay for a little bit and give that rye grass time to sprout. It only takes a week or so to germinate and come up. So if we can keep it that way for about a week, we can hopefully grab and get our pasture back before the animals make it to a desert. All right, here we go. We got the rake. This is probably one of my favorite things to do is rake the pasture. I don't know why, but seeing all the lines after I'm done always looks pretty cool. I'm telling you, doesn't it, doesn't it just look pretty after you rake? 
I wish it looked like this all the time, but now we're about to get that grass seed out and plant it. Oh no! We have an escapee! I've almost put out the entire bag of this seed here. And that means you gotta fill up this thing like four times. So it's a lot of work. But me and Carl got this routine going. Every time I walk by, he's gonna hiss. He's gonna like bobble a little bit and then he's gonna dance every time. Every single time. All right, this is not good. I'm gonna catch him. What are you doing? Hey, this is not for you. This is grass seed. Do you know how to read? It says grass seed. No, I just told you. Hey. All right, go out there in that field. Take care of some business so we can get some grass coming up. That's not, is this where it's all been going? Guys, every time I come back, I'm telling you this bag is like way lighter than it was whenever I left it. And now, well, it's almost empty. I think now I know why, but hey, less work for me to do. I'm just playing. Now I gotta get a whole nother bag. So this is the reason why we're gonna be spreading out hay over the top of it. You can see the second that we put out this seed, you have a flock of chickens coming after it. You got Jan and you got Cornholio going around getting his fair share too. Hey, stop eating that. Stop eating that. <laughs> oh no! Just to eat all this grass seed. Is Lola eating it? Lola, stop! Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this hay busted out so we can start covering some ground with it. There's a lot of ground to cover with hay. Coating, and then we'll put the sprinklers to it. You videoing? Yeah, I'm videoing. Yeah, it didn't have to be thick. We just gotta get a little layer of straw hay. Well, I didn't know we were doing it that thin. At first, I was thinking there's no way we have enough hay oh, no, no, to do all this, but no, yeah. It has to be real thin, and then we'll wet it down, though. See, when we wet it down, it won't fly away. Were you ever a away. cheerleader? Huh? Were you ever a cheerleader? You're pretty good at shaking those. <laughs> How was that, Jake? That was pretty good. Jake's giving me a hard time for my cheerleading skills. So he's gonna see what he got. Oh, you're actually wearing your cheerleader pants. Watch out. Hey, I'm a Packers cheerleader today. All right, you ready? Yeah. I think it goes like something like that. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> oh, that was really good. Uh oh. Cornholio loves it. Oh, no. Let's see what you got, Jake. Turkey mating day. Show him again, Jake. You gotta see the stars already. There's rocks over there. Be careful. All right, yeah, we're ready. <laughs> oh, God, this is oh, no. Cornholio loves it. He's showing you what he got, Jake. Oh, no. Oh, no, Jake, careful there. Uh-oh, you're going to make Jan jealous. You're not real. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, you Oh, no. Do a flip over there, Jake. Jake's always been very acrobatic. Oh, no. oh, oh. Lord. <laughs> do a flip, Paul. Do a black flip, flip, Jake. Just do some somersaults. I can't do it on this. <laughs> Just do some somersaults or something. Right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 I think the birds approved, Jake. I think you gave it a 10 out of 10. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Huh. That's the way that's the way she just run onto the field. You ever notice that? <laughs> yeah. They never oh. just walk, they always run like that. They gotta do their, their head back and everything like that. Was my head back? <laughs> yeah, it was back like that. <laughs> And introducing our Packers cheerleader. Woo! Go team! Woo! Woo! 
Okay. I give it about a 10. And now introducing the I'm a Survivor Drill Team. <laughs> Jake, do you ever feel like we may have missed our calling in life? I think so. I so, mean, we got it down. I could have been a drum major. Whatever that is. A drum major. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> Kitty has found herself a hiding place where she can stalk everything. Kitty, what are you doing under there? Uh oh, she's gonna get that goat. She's gonna get you, goat. I'm telling you. I told you. I told you. She's crazy. Kitty! Kitty, quit that. You're supposed to be sweet. All right, as you can see, we got all the hay put out here. This looks a lot different than what we're used to. So we got the sprinkler over here for right now. Throughout the day, Lester's gonna move it around. But this should stop everything at least from, if they walk by and eat the hay, okay, that's one thing. But at least it'll make them leave our seed alone. And then once all the hay gets wet, they won't touch it at all. Then our seed will just grow and grow and grow up through the hay. And it'll look really nice out here. Isn't that right, kitty? <laughs>